The sight of intense flames prompted the family to take extra precautions and immediately evacuate their home. Trevon Sadio, an occupant of the affected household, explained that there is a landfill of tires on the plot of land next to his home. It is said to be owned by Raham and Ali. Sahadio explained that Ali, sometime on Saturday, set fire to the heap of used tires. However, firefighters were called in to extinguish the flames since the polluted air gravely affected neighbors. But at about 7 30 hours on Monday morning, fire began emanating from the stack of tires again. The flames were blacker and became more intense and threatening, forcing the family out of their home. Well, we have a neighbor to the east, day, right? And um, this man keeps landfilling this place with tires. And this tire is gone far down the yard, right? And Saturday, lit a fire there. And like the fire and the mine go until long the bottom, right? So this thing is like a coal pit here right now. And um, every now and then the fire keeps coming up. Every time the fire from a lot of neighbors plus we just call the um, fire service, right? But sometimes it, they take too long to come. Sometimes they just take their own time and say that they fed up coming in. Sahari explained that for the past years, his neighbor has been filling the land with used tires. He is unsure why his neighbor set it ablaze. Some reports indicate that the man started the fire to get rid of bees. Nevertheless, Sahadio is grateful that there was no major damage to his property. We did that because when we see the fire start spread this morning and coming to our house, we try to take a little precaution, throw a little water, spray the water. The neighbor, the back all spray the water, you know. And um, I put some zinc on the eastern part of the building if mm -hmm. you want to see some zinc. And thank God the house already. Um, According to information reaching this newscast, the suspected neighbor has since been taken into police custody and is helping with investigations. The firefighters who arrived on the scene moments after the blaze managed to completely put out the flames and prevent it from causing extensive damages to nearby buildings. Reporting for the Evening News, I'm Leo Hernandez.